Hi there, let's take a quick tour of the accountant settings in Uncat. The first thing you'll see is the list of the clients that you've connected to Uncat, uh, the company type, so what platform they are on, QuickBooks Online or Xero or QuickBooks Desktop, their status, whether they've joined or they've just been invited, uh, which is to say they haven't yet logged in to Uncat, uh, the client admin email address and the client admin phone number, and you can edit this down in uh, client settings, which we'll show in a different video. Uh, you can grab the magic link for the admin. So if you want to click that button, it'll copy the link and you can send it straight to the client admin. So if you're already composing an email to them and want to say, hey, jump into UMCAT to update your uncategorized transactions, you can do that. Or you can click the notify now button and we'll send them an email containing that magic link so they can click straight through to their dashboard. And then lastly, you can click on go to client settings and we'll uh, cover those in a subsequent video. Uh, scrolling down, you'll see a list of your coworkers. So these are colleagues of yours that you've invited to Uncat. There are uh, three permission levels. So one is the firm admin, which is probably you. Uh, you set up the account for Uncat. You can invite others and make them also firm admins, or you can choose client admin. Uh, that user role can invite clients and change client permissions, or a team member. Uh, they can't invite clients, they can't change client um, settings but they can interact with clients in the dashboard. So they can categorize transactions, uh, they can add notes, et cetera. Uh, here you can assign clients to particular coworkers. So if you want to assign a particular client to one of your coworkers or several clients to a coworker, you can do that here. You can leave the field blank and that coworker will be able to see all of the clients in their dashboard, just like you can. Uh, you can grab a coworker magic link if you want. You can notify them right away to jump into their Uncat dashboard and review and categorize transactions from their clients. Uh, you can remove a coworker if you need to. These are your user settings, so self-explanatory, your email, uh, your phone number if you want Uncat to send you text message notifications when clients have updated transactions in Uncat. Uh, we'll send those out just like we do the email notifications, which is to say once a day if you have any clients that have updated transactions. You can also set uh, or change your password here. Uh, you don't need to do that. You can access Uncat always using your magic link that we send you in notifications. But if you want to log in with a password or set a password here, uh, you're more than welcome to. Uh, this is a very popular area of Uncat. This is where you can customize Uncat to match your brand. So you can put the name, uh, your name or your firm's name here. Uh, you can change the logo. So you can add your firm's logo. It will appear at the top left of the Uncat screen right under the Uncat logo. And you can also change the color of the app to match your brand. So if you wanted to make it, uh, let's say, somewhere in this uh, hot pink area, uh, you certainly can. And then lastly, at the bottom, this is the billing settings. You can always click here to check your billing, change your credit card on file, uh, download previous invoices, et cetera. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, last couple things. If you want to be CC'd on all the emails that go out to your clients, uh, for example, just to create a record, of those inside of a firm email inbox, uh, you can do that here. Uh, if also you use account numbers to identify accounts in your accounting software and you want to be able to see those in Uncat, you can toggle on that switch and that will apply across all of your clients. All right, thanks a lot.